All right, all right. Grace, mercy, and peace from him who is and was and is to come very soon. I'm certain. This is Rogue Diabetic. <clears throat> and welcome to the digital wilderness. <clears throat> so here's what we're looking at here today. We're looking at the, the election results. And this is Fox News. This is from the Fox News website. <laughs> and... Um, there's some variations between the different um, news outlets on what the reports are. Fox is like, this is like probably the most, the best, most complete graphic in the sense that it's probably uh, the most accurate, it has the best, it has the most data. And it's probably the most accurate reflection of what, what's about to happen. Of what 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 they of who they've selected, and we're looking at a blue wave. Now, like I said, if you look at some of these others, um, we'll take down the we'll take down the New York Times, but we'll pull up the AP and take a look at that. See, I mean, this is just is not collated as well. Okay, they've got forty five dams. They've got 46 GOP. Now, they're not counting in this one. And this is like technically more accurate. They're not at it, They're not counting in this number the, um, the seats that are held by independents. Now, these independents, these quote-unquote independents, which are both uh, Bernie Sanders and Angus King, are extreme leftists. And they caucus with the Democrats, and they always vote with them. Okay, so... You know, when you're talking about specific legislation, you know, they're always going to vote for the, the most radical left. And if you're talking about, like, for, for purposes of organization... They're always going to be voting uh, to, to, you know, install democratic leadership, whether it's in the committees or the, you know, the president of the Senate, the majority leader, etc., etc. So, um, so in, in in a sense, this is more accurate, but in a sense. But in the true sense, this is more accurate. Okay. Now, also, if you look here, um, okay, let's take a look at the. See, and then they've got like instead of having them side by side, they've got like you have to click around. So in Pennsylvania, they have not called. Pennsylvania hasn't been called. According to this, according to the, and this is the Associated Press, right? And by the way, I don't know if I've said this already, but it's 12.05 a.m. in Central Standard Time. Is that right? Is it still daylight time? No, it's Central, it's Central Standard Time. Okay, so... I mean, all these people are in bed. All these people are in bed. Most of these people out here are in bed. Okay, and so they, they, they set this up. When, when, when they were setting it up earlier today, they were setting it up to, to look like, you know, what the, to, to make it appear as if the, you know, that the, the, the narrative that had taken shape, that there was going to be some sort of red wave, was, um, you know, in queue. But once again, once the lights go out and everybody goes to bed, they, they're, they're starting to shift this away. From, from a red wave to a blue wave. Now it hasn't become apparent in the house quite yet. I'm sure it'll I'm sure it's like ABC has like like is saying that the you know the Republicans have won 207 or eight seats, something along those lines, maybe 206. I can't remember the last time I saw it. Um, 
But um, if you look at the house, if you look at the AP house graphic, they've only got 182. Now, there's still a possibility that they might give the house to the Republicans, which would be perfect. That, that, would, that would keep this government divided. Or apparently divided, even though it's united. I mean, the, the Democrats and the Republicans are just two wings of the same filthy and disgusting bird. Filthy and disgusting. So now back to the Fox. And this is like, this is the way it's going to shake out. Okay, so they, they just call Pennsylvania for Fetterman. This is the, the stroke victim. The 49-year-old or 48-year-old stroke victim. I mean, it's like, I can't believe anybody could vote for that. But you know, <laughs> it's the times that we live in. You know, because abortion. But anyway, they, they, just, get, they just gave it to, to Fetterman. Now, it looks like these people, the Fox people, have Georgia shaded blue. So that means that in the raw count, in the raw vote count, um, they're saying, um, what's his bucket? Herschel Walker is ahead of the other, whoever else, that, I can't even remember who the other dude is. Raphael Warnock, maybe. Okay, and then the rock count here, you've got Raphael Warnock ahead of Herschel. Okay, and this is something this is something that earlier this evening was like this has swung a couple percentage points. Because Herschel was ahead by like a full percent. You know, just about the time that everybody was going to bed. And now it's like You know, you're talking about you're talking about a thirty five thousand vote difference with ninety six percent reporting and um, three, close to over three point seven million votes cast. So, so my suspicion is that this is going to hold blue. Okay. The Georgia is actually going to hold blue. Now this is this one is tight. Tight Mandela, Mandela is closing the gap between with Ron Johnson, and this was like three percent a couple hours ago before everybody went to bed. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure by the end of the night, we're going to see Ron Johnson lose. Then we've got the then we've got this disaster over here. This is like, I mean, it was like they they counted the first forty eight percent of the votes. It's just like zippity doo da. You know, within the first hour or two of the polls closing. And now that the polls have closed, it's like it's just it's, it's at a crawl. It's like the fewer votes that are left to count, the longer it takes to count them. I mean, it's unbelievable, right? And, and I mean, it's, if we keep, if we were to keep watching this all night, I mean, it's like, but I mean, it's like fifty percent reporting, and you know, this Mark Kelly character is creaming this Blake Masters character. Now, I'm pretty sure that the vote that's still out is in Republican districts, and that's why they haven't called this yet. But, I mean, there's, like, a 17% gap. So I think it's pretty easy to say this is going blue. Now, this is, this is a little bit different than what I saw a few minutes ago. I mean, this is, like, they weren't reporting. any of the vote until everybody went to bed. I mean, even in Nevada, I think it would be about 11-11 in Nevada. I think they're mountain, mountain standard time. And it's like, but it, like, 
No, there was nothing. And the last time I looked at it, there was less than 2,000 votes that they were reporting that had been counted. And now they're up to 35%, less than 1% of the precincts. And that's, well, I'll maybe try to get into that here in a minute. But, I mean, you're looking at 54% for the, for the Democrat. And 43.2% for the Republican. 35% reporting. So you've got this huge gap. So theoretically, and then this will tighten. But the, the, this, this Adam Laxalt guy is going to lose. Okay. So now let's go back to the Fox. So the Fox... They've called Pennsylvania, and they're including in this Democrats count the um, the independents in name only. So we're talking about, so check this out. 48, 49. Okay, because that, that Blake Masters isn't going to, isn't going to catch. 50. So that's Nevada. Okay, 51, 52. So you're going to have 50 Democrats, two independents that caucus with the Democrats and are the most extreme leftists in the Democratic caucus. Now, Virginia. Okay, no election in Virginia. This is the thing that I don't like about the Fox map is like they have the, the states where nobody's up in white, like Nebraska and Minnesota and Wyoming. And then they've got the states that are up where the candidate is leaning in very light red and blue. It's like it's hard to tell. But anyway. So where were we again? OK, so 48, 49, 50, 51 and then the Ron Johnson at 52. Ron Johnson's lead has been eroding. Okay. So, dopey old Joe is going to be like the first president that's going to be like, that's going to crush in the midterms. Whose party is going to crush in the midterms? This is going to be yet another. The wave election. Okay, and maybe the Republicans take control of the House. Maybe they don't. I mean, I haven't even really drilled down in on that because it's like it's too early. I don't have enough. I don't have. An, I don't have enough access to enough valid data, and there's so much discrepancies. I mean, they've got the 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 Fox guys have this at one eighty six. The AP has it at 186, but ABC has it, it has it at like 208. So and you need 218 for the majority. So the Republican, <laughs> the Democrats are going to be, they are going to gain seats in the Senate. The Republicans aren't going to gain enough seats in the House. That's my early that's my early feel on this. At 12 16 a.m. This should be over. We, we should know everything. You know, I remember back in olden times, super duper olden times. I'm not just talking about like 2018 olden times or tw 2014 olden times. I'm talking about like super duper olden times, like back in the 80s. Where my dad was like, you know, he fed the cattle. He just gotten out of the shower and he was combing his hair. And he was on the ballot, I think, in that election. Well, maybe not. Was he? No, he wasn't. He was not in that election. It was in the next election. But it was, this would have been 1980. 
<laughs> and so he he did, the the cattle were fed. He was out of the shower. He was getting ready to go to town to vote. Cause out where I was at, I was out, I, out where I was at as a kid, we had to like drive to town to vote. Ma and Pa had to drive to town to, to vote. <laughs> okay. So if you didn't have like like if you didn't have a vehicle or a horse or something. I mean, it's like unless you really wanted to walk three, four, five miles to vote, you didn't vote. But anyway, he was getting. But this was wasn't wasn't that super duper olden time. So he's getting ready to go into town to vote, and they had all and the polls weren't even closed, and they had already called Nebraska. Every like almost everything. I don't know if they'd called, you know, all the state elections, all the statewide elections or the congressional elections. And certainly they hadn't called the local elections yet, but they, they had already called the election for Ronald Reagan, the presidential election. So and now, in, but in like in COVID times, it says 1218 in the morning. And they didn't even hardly... They didn't even hardly start reporting results in the in Nevada. Until midnight. Until until about until about ten o'clock local time. Not even raw data. Not even raw data. Those projections back in super duper olden times were based on exit pollings. And they stopped doing that. They stopped they stopped calling these races before the polls closed, which made sense. I mean, it didn't seem fair to start calling these elections back in the 70s and 80s before, you know, the polls had even closed in half the country. But now they're like, now they're like, they're, they're like, the, these, the votes should all be counted by now. Especially if more people are voting early and by absentee. I mean, those votes should get counted as soon as, like, on the morning of election day, they should start counting those votes. And it should just be a, it should just be a fraction of the total votes cast. And so by the time, by the time the poll is closed, they should be, like, have all those votes counted And then be into like, and, and be into like, and they should be counting. And, and then during the day, during election day, they should be counting in person day of votes as they're cast. So that when the polls close, at least in some precincts, you should, you should know right away. Right? By the time, by the time everybody goes to bed, everybody should have like, a pretty good idea. Except for maybe on the East Coast. But definitely by every by the time everybody goes to bed in here in these states. You should have a pretty good idea who's won the presidency in a presidential election year. And you should have kind of an I you should have a pretty like there shouldn't be any of this radical stuff happening overnight. Like, this is going to flip. In the middle of the night, this is going to flip from red to blue. This is already flipped from red to blue. Now they're at 96% here in Georgia, where it's 11 o'clock, where it's where it's one almost 1.30 in the morning. So when the people of Georgia get up tomorrow morning... They're going to have Raphael Warnock as their senator. Okay. So once again, let's look at the Fox. Let's refresh it too. That was weird. 
I'll have to look at that again to see. Because this might have gone... Did this one go up one? Anyway, so we're at 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Okay, that's that. That's my final call. Over here, I'm gonna say doubt it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say doubt it for Republicans winning, taking control of the House of Representatives. So this senile. <laughs> The senile old dope just of a president that we have who's presided over record inflation, a record increase in gas prices, just like won this stunning midterm. His party won this stunning, not recently precedented midterm victory. And the Republicans are going to cry. And the Democrats are going to cry. Because the Republicans are crying. You know, the, the Democrats are going to refuse to acknowledge that this is like, that this is bullshit. And the Republicans, but the Republicans are going to cry because, you know, like they didn't know ahead of time that this, like that this was like, that this was the setup. I did a video on this earlier where I kind of ran through a couple different scenarios. And it turns out that the blue wave scenario is what materialized. Okay, this country's fucked, it's over. Our elections are fraudulent, they're not real. And there's no difference between either of these parties anyway. So I love you guys. Don't take the mark. Jesus is coming. Put your faith in him, not in this bullshit. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.